Learning how to deal with life's most unexpected curves. The best-selling novel Choices is in bookstores right now. In his first published novel, local author John Parisi explores the paths we decide to follow and the unforeseen circumstances that arrive from some of those choices. Without an agent or major publisher, Parisi published the book himself, and for five straight months now, it has topped the bestseller list. So we are very excited that he's with us here this morning with Andrew. Cheryl, thanks so much. And, you know, it's really kind of living a dream. All of us who write in any degree, whether it's writing for advertising, writing for news, or, or writing for anything, the, the goal is to write the great American novel. So John went ahead and did that. And uh, when he couldn't yet find a publisher, he said, hey, what the heck, I'll do it myself. So it's a story of empowerment for those who are struggling to realize dreams without corporate backing or without lots of money. And, and it's good to see you. Yeah, nice to be here. So tell us about Choices. Well, it's a coming-of-age story about two brothers. One's very creative, the other's very money-driven, and it's about the paths they try to follow and how circumstance challenges their direction as they grow. And uh, kind of in the middle of their teenage years, they face a major tragedy, and they have to figure out, am I heading in the right direction, or am I going to have to try mm -hmm. to find a new one? Now, I understand when they're young, they're on the beach. One of them finds a beautiful seashell, one of them finds a little pocket of change. So that's sort of the symbolism, the, the seashell being the creativity, the change being the money. How yeah. does that play out? That kind of sets up the path that each brother is going to follow. And, you know, when you're young, you think you found the tried and true direction. You think there's no way you can be wrong. And these brothers are very stubborn, and they stick to their guns, and they believe that absolutely there's no way that either of them can be heading in the wrong direction until they face this major curveball that happens when they're sophomores in high school, and it shakes the core of everything they believe, and they have to figure out, you know, how am I going to make the transition from teenhood into adulthood? Can you tell me, without giving away the point of the book or the ending, what wins out, the creative side or the money-driven side? Or would that ruin the book, or is it left for the viewer to decide, or the reader to decide? Well, I mean, like life, nothing is ever really etched in stone, so it's not crystal clear in the ending. But I think the major message to the story is we all try to forge our own direction in life. We all make our own choices. And inevitably, there's a curveball that comes our way, or several curveballs at once. So it challenges our convictions. And we have to figure out, do I stay the course and work through this? or do I try a new direction? And that's what the story really taps into. Now, persistence pays off. You obviously wanted to find a publisher. You haven't yet found a publisher, so you said, hey, I'm going to just publish this myself. How was that process? Yeah, that, that was kind of a long process, but a very satisfying one in the end. Um, I started out with a manuscript, and I sent it to some agents, and I figured, well, you know, after a few months, this isn't going anywhere, so I'll try to self-publish. And the nice thing is with my advertising background, I could do all the marketing and the packaging and design work. And with my presentation skills, I was able to build some relationships with Borders General Managers and get into stores to do book signings. And at my first book signing, I sold 30 copies. So they said, come on back. And I sold more, and I kept selling the books out. And eventually, it branched out to Borders locations all over Colorado. That's great. Well, I hope this appearance helps you sell a few more books. Yeah. And I hope that that then translates into a major publisher in the next book because it's nice to see success stories like yeah, this. Yeah, thanks for coming it. in. Appreciate I just that. want to let people know if to get the book, they can go to choicesnovel.com. We've got that linked up to our website. I'll tell you about that right now. If you'd like to purchase a copy of Choices, uh, first thing you can do is you can just go to Borders. You can find it at bookstores all across Colorado. It can also be found on Amazon.com. That's easy. Or log on to 9news.com and click on the weekends page. We have linked up Jean Parisi's site with ours, and you can find it right there and purchase that book. Again, the book is called Choices by John Parisi, and we thank him again for coming in. Cheryl?